Today we're building an NBA team, but we only got $15 to build our team. Now, technically it's not a full NBA team. It's really our starting five. And then I have to build around that. So this is the board right here. Some of these prices look kind of crazy, but I feel like I'm making the best team possible. And I'm starting it off with Luka Doncic with $5. Then I'm going to go Joel B. That makes nine. I didn't want to go LeBron because y'all know he retires after a season or whatever. So Joel B makes nine. Anthony Davis makes 12. Victor Wimbanyama makes 14. And then that one up here, we really could mix this around because I can get Sabonis and put Wimby at the three. I can get Julius and put Wimby at the three. Or I can run. Well, Wimby's at the three anyway, really. So really, I needed a two guard. So yeah, Austin Reeves, Tyrese Maxey, or De'Aaron Fox. And out of this category, I like Tyrese Maxey better. So that'll be my $15 lineup. All right, so this is our team for season number one. We got Joel, Luka, Anthony Davis, Tyrese Maxey, and Victor Wimbayama. Alexander Saar we're going to keep because he's this year's rookie. Bilal Koulibaly was last year's rookie. I don't know who else they drafted last year. And I think Bub Carrington was another player that they drafted this year for the Washington Wizards. Everybody else on our team is AI teammates, at least for the first season. Now, one thing that I don't like about the Wizards, I don't know if Brian Keefe is the actual head coach. I think he is. But listen, Brian Keefe, when I do simulations with you, you're not always, you know, the best for our team. So I need to look at candidates here. And this guy right here, Michael Stauffer, I used him in a different video. So I kind of want to take Brian Keefe and fire him, okay? And then sign our guy, Michael Starr. For last time I used him, I only had to pay him 10 million, bro. So I'm gonna drop this down a little bit. We'll give him 11 million. See what he says. He accepted our offer. So now we have a new coach. And then currently, because we only have, what is this? Eight players on our team. We are gonna turn this into eight man rotation and see what we can do right here. Change this around. I don't like that they're trying to make Anthony Davis come off the bench. So I do need to do a position change. Victor Wimbayama, they have him at center right now. Wimby, we're gonna change you to small forward. Uh, we could put you at power forward with Anthony Davis center. We put Anthony Davis at power forward. They change his overall. Wimby, you can go to small forward. You'll be okay. Confirm these changes. Now let's go back and see if we got anything. There we go. Victor Wimbayama starting to small forward just how we designed it to go. Eight man rotation, right? Yeah, eight man rotation. So this is how we looking to start our team off. Now when the season ends, the team will do free agents and all of that good stuff. And when they do free agents, I'll make my trades and stuff next season. But we win the first game against the Indiana Pacers. Wimby 33 and 12 ad 22 6 and 2 luca 21 6 and 6 nb double double seem like this game versus the memphis grizzlies that's not bad basketball right there we're actually winning do we start off 3-0 no we lost to the boston celtics by 14 so we got to make something shake luca and b this is how they're looking all right cool all right i'm gonna simulate down to the last 20 games or first 20 games my bad of the season to see how we're looking see what our record looks like look at me changing the head coach because brian keith we probably wouldn't be you know 10 and 2 right now we're probably playing 500 basketball with the way that you know what i'm saying you like to play so i had to make that change we're 14 and 4 15 and 4 i don't know where game 20 is this might be the new york knicks right here so we simulate that we are 16 and 4 through our first 20 games nba standings we're first in the eastern conference lakers our first in the Western Conference. That's good basketball. All right, stat-wise, through our first 20 games, wow, everybody's hooping. 25 for Luka, 23 and 11 for Joel, 23 for Maxi, 22 and 11 for Wimby. Anthony Davis, pinch nerve in the back day-to-day. -day. Of course, AD is the one to get hurt. Alexander Saar playing decent, even though he stunk it up. You know what I mean? In Summer League. But that's good ball. We're going to simulate all the way down to the All-Star game. See who makes the All-Star team. You know what I mean? But we got to go through our first season with this roster. We can't change the roster up until next season. We're going to see if our starting five... And and supporting cast can win a chip and then you know what i'm saying we're gonna we're gonna keep progressively getting better all right so we're down to the all-star break our record is currently 42 and 12 so we are first in the eastern conference those are things that you like to see playoff or not playoff player stats up until this point Luka Doncic almost averaging a triple double I literally expect him to win uh what is it called MVP again I mean he always wins MVP that's why I picked him Tyrese Maxey is hooping doing his thing Wimby of course Joel Embiid is a little hurt day-to-day -day, lower back bruise Tyrese Maxey broken nose two to four weeks Man, Anthony Davis is averaging 19 points nine rebounds our AI teammates are still here some of them have actually gotten in the game but that's probably due to injury. Let's check the game plan real quick. Wow, Bilal Koulibaly, who's down? Embiid is down on rest because he's recovering. Maxi's down on rest, okay? And we're still pulling off wins. That's what I like to see. But let's simulate to the end of the regular season and see who takes the MVP award and see can we get a championship. And like I said, Luka was going to get the MVP, man. 25 points, 9 boards, 11 assists, 1.4 steals, 51 from the field, 80 
from the free throw line 43 from the three-point line dalton connect rookie of the year in la i'm telling y'all i like that pick for the lakers russ six man Giannis depoy jalen johnson most improved tatum clutch player that's a shocker my guy malcolm stauffer 63 and 19 coach of the year washington wizards john murphy though gets executive of the year okc 64 and 18 this is first team all nba this is second team all nba so we got a guy on first team a guy on second team how is Wimby broken nose day to day goodness gracious third team all nba we don't get anybody first team all defense we get Wimby. second team no this is another reason though why i thought about taking shea gilgis off of okc because okc is overpowered in these simulations but when you put shea and luke on the same team i could have ran off a lot of championships but this is how our team look maxi had a second in scoring Wimby and Bede and then Anthony Davis so yeah first round matchup versus the Toronto Raptors quickly buried Bruce Brown Sky yeah they're not gonna beat us but we can go game by game and see if it gets interesting y'all know we hop into the simcast if I see something interesting but I didn't see it didn't see it so I'm gonna go to the next round we play the Indiana Pacers who are actually pretty good in simulations but I think our team is just a little bit too good and I feel like I was about to say yeah I feel like we'll be playing OKC in the NBA Finals Boston is the first team to get a game they take game one but luca goes 43 and 11 maxi 22 and 1 wimby 15 and 10 tatum goes 42 and 13 jb 18 and 10 we could have added jb to the roster too but i don't know if that would have been good for us are we going to gentlemen sweep the celtics we do to get to the nba finals joel mb gets eastern conference finals mvp shea gets western conference finals mvp now this is where it gets tricky because 2k loves thunder like i said they win game one Jalen williams goes for 31 shea oh he played nine minutes 18 points 18 points and three assists in nine minutes is insane but why did he only play nine minutes are you telling me shea gill just got hurt he did not get hurt so why did he only play nine minutes did he play this game he played 35 minutes this game so why did he only play nine minutes in this game and they still ended up beating us by six that that is very very interesting and i don't know how i feel about that two one three one let's go to the simcast see what happens are we really going to get a championship in our first season before i like even make a trade to make our bench better our starting five might propel us to the nba championship in our first season we do have a seven point game we have a three point game with a minute 21 left all right so on the court for us we got luca alexander Sar, wimby joel and anthony davis that is a big lineup oh my goodness and one shea gill just alexander he's going to the line i'm expecting these free throws to be knocked down yes he ducks yes he knocks it down maxi has the rock maxi has an injury symbol next to his name but that doesn't matter because we're literally about to win the nba final what type of pass was that joel easy layup though okay all right now it is a four point game we don't have to foul. Wait, Bilal Koulibaly is now in the game. We don't have to foul, though. We just got to play solid defense and go get us a bucket. But Shea is trying to overpower Maxi. Pass it to Lou Dort for three. Lou Dort missed it. That could have been a stop that we needed. Joel kicks it up to AD. AD finds Maxi. Let's work. Tyrese Maxi, you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. Hit it. Oh, you didn't hit him. Yes, he did. Lob. That's a... Wow, Joel missed that. Come on, bro. Now they got Hardenstein at the free throw line. He missed the first free throw. We might be good. Second free throw. It's going up. Wow, he makes it. Okay, five-point game. I don't know if I'm liking our lineup on the floor. No Luka, no Embiid, but we got Maxi, AD, and Wimby on the floor. Alexander Saar and Koulibaly there. AD get blocked. Oh, my goodness. AD can knock down both free throws, and it's still a decent game. Free throw one is good. Free throw two on the way up. He knocks down both. Three-point game, 34 seconds left. Now, we don't have to foul right here, so I'll be interested to see if 2K makes them foul because they don't. Okay, no foul. Solid defense, a little pressure. We got to get the ball out of Shea's hands, though. Shea having the ball is what I don't want to see. He gives it to Hartenstein. I like that defense from AD. Oh, my God. Hartenstein making that over AD is kind of crazy. Come on, Wimby. What are we looking at? Maxi, are you going to throw it back to AD? You're going to go back to the basket? Okay, here's AD. What are we getting? What are we getting? We're wasting a lot of time. AD over. So AD can't make it over Hardenstein, but Hardenstein can make it over AD. Miss these free throws so we can come back and score fast. Uh, all right, it's over. Oh, he missed one. If we throw it up quick, throw it, throw it, throw it. Oh my God. Who did he throw? It? He threw it to Bilal Koulibaly. Out of everybody on the floor, it's Bilal Koulibaly who gets the shot. This is crazy. Those French guys sticking together. Wow. Shea literally had 43, 9, and 6. He had 43 on 13 for 16. Should I have picked up Shea instead of picking up uh, Joel? I mean, let me know. 17 for 17 from free throw. I mean, Joel let us in scoring though, 25 and 10. So I, I don't know. But we're now in game six. Let's simulate it and see. And we win the championship. Oh my goodness. It was nail biters. Joel and B, 25, 11 and 5 finals MVP. Wow, LeBron James did not retire after this season. So I possibly could have had LeBron but it's okay draft lottery hits the wizards probably should have been in a draft lottery i don't think we have like any picks right yeah so the wizards nowhere 
with a pick. So we're not getting in a draft lottery. That's okay. Spurs got the number one pick because we stole Victor Wimbanyama. And if that is the case, the Spurs should be drafting Cooper Flag first. No, they took Dylan Harper. Don't know why you would do that after you got Steven Castle. But all right, Charlotte Hornets get Ace Bailey. I like that. And Charlotte Portland gets Cooper Flag. I don't know if he would actually drop to three. Nolan goes to the Mavericks at four. I don't know who that is at five. All right, so this is how our team is looking coming in to the next season. We still have our core five of Luka Embiid, AD, Wimby, and Maxi. Alexander Sarr still here, of course. Bilal Koulibaly still here. We picked up Oubre in free agency. Salty Aldama. We still got Bub Carrington. Isaiah Evans. Drew Peterson. And then we got some two-way players and a couple of AI teammates who I guess were still on contract. So they're still on contract. We're probably going to drop this AI teammate because he has two years. We're probably going to drop him down and leave him with one. So now all three AI players only have one year left on their remaining deal. We got three two-way guys. So we'll see what this looks like. I mean, let's check our rotation to start the season off. Our starters definitely remain the same. Our six through eight remains the same. Coach still, I mean, he could run a 10-man if he wanted to, but literally, I think we're fine at eight with Oubre being eight. Aldama had been hooping though in the FIBA stuff, so let's make Aldama get in rotation. We'll give him the knife man, and then I'll simulate down to the trade deadline, and depending on how we look at the trade deadline, you know what I'm saying? I'll make some trades for somebody. Kelly Oubre might have some value. Aldama might have some value. The Wizards have made a roster change. What did we do? Oh, they didn't do anything but send players down to the G League. So cool. Don't stop my simulation anymore because you want to send guys down to the G League. We don't care about that. That has nothing to do with the main rotation. Those guys wasn't playing anyway. All right, I might not make any trades. We're 47 and 7. So that's definitely first in the Eastern Conference. Like, I mean, I said 47 and seven. We're 47 and four. First in the Eastern Conference. I mean, checking out our stats. Ooh, wait, who's hurt? Oh, Salty Aldama is hurt. He's out six to eight weeks. Joel hurt day to day. But I mean, everything else is looking good. Tyrese Maxey is leading us in scoring down at the All-Star break. Players have been in and out of the starting lineup that may be due to injury. Kelly Oubre, you know, nine points, 35%. Alexander Saar, nine points. I mean, I could check the trade value for Alexander Saar, who is actually in our starting lineup right now because Salty Aldama and Joel Embiid are hurt. But let's see. Let's check the trade market for Alexander Saar and see if we can get anything worth trading him for. And if we can... You know what I'm saying? Maybe we move him around and make something shake. Wow, Alexander Saar for Gigi Jackson is nice. Gigi Jackson is 6'9". Alexander Saar is 7 feet, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. We literally could trade Alexander Saar for some good pieces. He's at power forward. We could trade him for Keegan Murray, who's at power forward, and that would be good. Oh, we could trade him for Cam Johnson and Dario Sarri. Why does Alexander Saar have so much, um, what do I want to call it? Trade value, I guess, in a sense. Brandon Pazimski, who the Warriors do not want to trade for Laurie Markkinen. They'll sit here and give them to us for Alexander Saar. It's ridiculous. I like this. Cam Johnson and Dario Sark for Alexander Saar and AI teammates. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And Cam Johnson is definitely going to be power forward. And then we got Mr. Bilal Koulibaly. We're going to get him up out of here too. I know we're 47 and 4 and we don't really have to trade anybody. But listen, these guys can go. I mean, look, I can get Hami Hakez over Koulibaly. He's averaging 13 and 4, shooting 55 and 35. Koulibaly's averaging 16. Hami's probably going to play more than Bilal. Now, I can get Keegan Murray for Bilal Koulibaly. So I'm not going to lie to you, my good people. Herb Jones. Uh, Herb Jones is a good defender, but do I mean, do I really need him? But Men Thompson is a good backup point guard. I know he gets better as the simulations go on. Rob Dillingham off the bench is elite work, but I got to figure out players that's going to fit into this system. So Keegan Murray. Nah, when Luka comes out, who do we have at point guard when Luka comes out? I don't know. Oh no, when Luka comes out at point guard, Tyrese Maxey goes to point guard. So yeah, we're good. Keegan Murray. Welcome to the team, which means I have too many power forwards and Keegan Murray, you no know, Cam Johnson can go back to small forward because now we have Keegan Murray at power forward. So yeah, we got Luka Maxi Bub at point, Oubre and Isaiah Evans at the two, Wimby Cam at the three, Keegan, Dario Sark and Aldama at the four, Embiid and AD at the five, even though AD really should be the four, but y'all get what's happening here. So the only other thing, I would probably trade Bub Carrington. Let's see if we can get another shooting guard, even though we're not starting, uh, what you call it, Kelly Oubre. We're not getting a shooting guard that I like. I don't see anybody that I like right here, so we'll probably just leave Bub there. This Isaiah Evans guy, wow, he is literally a 
three and a half star trade piece that we could really move him for somebody and i can move him for a man thompson i would be a fool not to do that so yeah let's go ahead and make that happen and yeah now let's check our rotation here a man thompson is now our six man off the bench this is nine who are we missing salty so Dama, joel and b let's extend our bench depth to 10 and so yeah when then b comes back we should be better i'll simulate down to the end of the regular season see how we do and this year we got victor Wimbayama taking home the mvp 23 10 and 6 Cooper Flag gets rookie of the year. Dylan Harper, six man. Wimby gets the deep point. Reed Shepard, most improved. Steph Curry, clutch player. And of course, our guy it's coach of the year 74 and 8 so we only lost four games after the break lebron is 41 years old making all nba first team this is crazy Wimby gets all nba first uh we got luca all nba second nobody all nba third Wimby on all defensive first and then that is it so let's get through here okc is back first in the west we are definitely first in the east what record did okc have 55 and 27 we will check our stats and see who's here okay Wimby, maxi luca and b dropped off a little bit ad dropped off keegan murray cam johnson is hurt hyper extended right shoulder out for the season like come on bro i know we're gonna win the championship anyway probably because I know how to put a roster together, but goodness gracious, can we just hoop with our regular squad? That's crazy. First round matchup though, Toronto Raptors. I think we played them first round last year, so let's simulate the round because I don't see them beating us. Next round, we play the Indiana Pacers. Can they give us a challenge? Maybe give us a game? I don't know. It looks like we're gonna sweep through them as well. Next round, the New York Knicks. Is this still Villanova Knicks? Jalen McHale, OG Ananova Jr. Yeah, Villanova Knicks. <laughs> still the Villanova Knicks, but it does not matter because we're gonna, wow, okay, I thought we're gonna sweep them too, but Brunson had to get him one. 33 and 11, Miles Bridges, 25 and five, I mean, not Miles Bridges, Mikhail Bridges, 25 and five, Julius Randle, 20 and 12. Do they get another game? No, 3-1, 4-1. Wow, the Nuggets swept the Oklahoma City Thunder, but this Nuggets team doesn't stand a chance. Doesn't stand a chance at all. One, two, three, oh wow, two, one, okay. 3-1, let's get to the Simcast, let's see do the Nuggets, you know what I'm saying, make it close down the stretch before we get our second in a row NBA championship and it doesn't look like it looks like we're blowing it away. Getting up out of here, what, 116 to 93? Game's over. <laughs> it's over. We win by 21. Maxi had 31. Luka 25, 11, AD 20 and 6. Wimby 14 and 10. Where's Joel? Where's Joel? You know what? We win the championship. Luka takes home the finals MVP 27, 9 and 10. But where is, J okay, bro, broke his leg out for the season. We can't get a healthy, like 2K is realistic. We can't get a healthy Joel Embiid. Player retirements, LeBron finally retired. Thank you. Good. Get out the league, bro. Jesus Christ, LeBron finally retired. We're not getting anybody in the draft lottery, but I still want to see the NBA draft to see who teams picked. Could be good ball going somewhere. This is supposed to be the 2026 drafts. Pelicans take Darren Peterson. I need to look him up or watch him this year to really see if he's good or if that's an AI player. Darius Akoff goes to the Rockets. Third pick from the Spurs. They get AJ. So that's a good pickup for the Spurs right there at the wing position. The Brooklyn Nets, they're trading somebody. Okay, Suns trade the fourth overall pick for Desmond Bain and a protected lottery pick. And they picked up. The Grizzlies picked this person up? I don't even know who that is, okay? Next draft pick, Lakers take City Guy from Senegal. Don't know if I said that right. He could be an AI player too, but that's the draft. All right, so I like what I'm seeing. Our team basically looks the same. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, we kept Keegan Murray, Kelly Oubre. We got Rui Hachimura in free agency. Cam Johnson, Bub Carrington, Dario Sark, Santino Aldama, Norman Powell. Yeah, our team is good. We're not losing anybody. I mean, I put our, you know what I'm saying, starting five here for a reason. Nobody's actually getting better though. Like Maxi's still standing at a 91. AD and Embiid are here. Embiid actually got worse because he was a 98 when we started. Wimby got better, you know what I mean? So yeah, our team is really looking solid and I just don't know if there will even be a reason to trade anybody from our team. Like I'm gonna go down to the trade deadline and see, but if it don't look like we need to trade anybody, then we won't trade anybody and we'll see, can we run off three straight NBA championships? For whatever reason, 2K is a little, you know, faulty. I haven't been able to do a 3P in a simulation, I don't think. If y'all see me do a 3P, let me know which video down below in the comments, but I don't think I've been able to do a 3P yet. I know I haven't done a 4P, so maybe we'll see. If we pull off a 3, we'll go through one more season, see can we pull off a 4, because I don't think I've done it. And we're literally like 20, after this game, we'll be what, 21 and 1, 22 and 1. We're getting another championship this year. All right, so trade deadline, we're 40 and 11. I mean, yeah, first and east, like I figured, but it's closer, though. It's closer. The Pistons are literally four games 
behind us. And then actually, let me go back and look at the Western Conference. Oh my goodness, we're 40 and 11. OKC is 39 and 12. You see what I'm saying? You really don't know what's going to happen for the season. Wimby's leading us in scoring. He's the only one averaging 20. But maybe because everybody else, you know, is playing good basketball. I didn't look at our rotations. We're still running a 10-man lineup here. So who's our 10th man? Cam Johnson. Oh, that's perfect, actually, to be honest with you. Because Bub don't need to play. They don't need to play. Our 10-man rotation is actually beautiful as long as everything is there. Amen Thompson, we literally brought him to the team. He's averaging 9, 7, and 6. 17% from three-point line, though, is insane. I don't know what his three-point rating is, but 40 and 11, we're right there with OKC. So, like, we could win the chip, but it's also up in the air. And even though we won two championships and we finna win our third, this is why I probably should have picked Shea. But, yeah, MVP for Shea, 26 and 10. Cameron Booz, a rookie of the year. Hugo Gonzalez, six-man. Giannis gets depoy. Hugo gets most improved, Giannis gets clutch player, and our coach gets coach of the year, 65 and 17, our worst record so far of the simulation. Wimby makes all NBA first, nobody on second, nobody on third, Wimby on all defense, nobody on all defensive second. Simulate the play in like we normally do, but who had the best record in the league? We were 65 and 17, okay, Oklahoma City, 59 and 23, so that's really not, I'm saying bad, but they're right there. These look the same for the most part, and we're actually going in to the playoffs with a healthy roster. Joel and B played all 82 games this season, and so did Anthony Davis. And yes, injuries was on, so that's a great thing. Great sign right there. Why do we keep playing the Raptors in the first round of the playoffs? Simulate the round. I don't understand why we keep playing Toronto. Toronto keeps getting the eight seed. Now, the Pacers, I don't know. I told y'all our record, worst record we've had in the simulation, but the Pacers still don't stand a chance. We sweep them. Then let's get through the Knicks again. Wow, so we're really running the same, like, playoff thing four years in a row. It's just OKC is now back. Shea gets Western Conference Finals MVP, 31-7-12. Luka, 25 7 and 10 now let's see what happens game one goes to us game two goes to us game three goes to us we literally sweep the oklahoma city thunder and win three straight championships Wimby gets finals mvp wow we're now at the point where kevin durant demar derozan and russell westbrook have called it quits now this might really be like the simulation for Wimby because he gets mvp again caleb gaskins rookie of the year stephen castle six man Wimby gets mvp and depoy jares gets most improved scotty clutch player our coach coach of the year 64 and 18 all nba first for Wimby. all nba second for luca all defensive first for Wimby. That's a good ball right there. Let's just check the stats for the last season. See who hooped for us. And we're not going into the playoffs with a healthy roster because Tyrese Maxey, torn left ACLs out for the season. Anthony Davis is out one to two weeks. This year, we played Detroit in the first round of the playoffs. So let's simulate game one, two, game three. Okay, do we sweep past? We swept past Detroit. But we literally have to try to go for a 4P with no Tyrese Maxey. I told y'all I haven't done a 4P yet, but it looks like it's possible. 3-1, 3-2, 4-2, okay, and Indiana had me a little shook for a second, Charlotte is, oh wow, Charlotte is second because LaMelo got better, and so did Brandon Miller, and Charlotte literally took game one, game two goes to us, game three goes to Charlotte, game four goes to us, ooh, we a pivotal game five right here, pivotal game five. And Charlotte is actually winning the game five. We may not four P, bro, because we don't have Maxi. We literally, oh wow, we're, whoa, we picked it up. We picked it up. Okay, we got game five. We picked it up. Hold on. Do we get game six? Yes, we got game six. We went back to the NBA Finals versus the Thunder, but our roster is probably still the same. Like people are still hurt. Maxi is literally out for the season. So with Maxi out, what do we look like? Luca, Cam Thomas. Hold on. Cam Johnson's out of the rotation? Bub Carrington's in the rotation? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I might need to push that to 11, man. Cam Johnson has to play. I mean, even six minutes, he got to do something. Come on, simulate that. Thunder win game one, game two, game three. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me let me put that back. Let's see. Let's see. Can, you know, can, can we change that? Can I go back? Can I go back? Swap it out. Cam Johnson, no minutes. And eh, please get a win. Wow, they swept us. They swept us. I told you it's hard to go for Pete. Shea Gilders gets the finals. MVP. That was pretty insane. They beat us by 10, by 7, by 4, and by 7. So, I mean, close games, but it is what it is. I built the team for $15. We got three championships in four seasons. So I appreciate y'all for stopping by sticking through, man. Drop a sub, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.